Hi everybody, I'm Isabel and this is my puzzle diaries. Today's puzzle, 6,000 piece into the bedroom from Yuka. It's my biggest puzzle to date and I finished it just shy, one day shy of uh, one month. Um, because this puzzle is already longer than the usual, I'm going to keep this short. And I'm jumping right into the time lapse, I'll share my thoughts during the time lapse. I thank you so much for watching and please watch till the end. The end result is just too beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, as per usual, my first uh, thought here was just to get the this uh, edge pieces out. I wasn't too worried about anything else. I just wanted the edge pieces. As soon as I got those out, I started sorting out the very obvious colors, the blues, the yellows, the reds. Once the edge was um, completed, I um, start with whatever looked easy enough. The, there was no strategy going into this. So the big thought here was just to piece two pieces together as far as I can get um, anything. I didn't want to get stuck on the puzzle at any time. So as far as I could get two pieces together, I was happy. So the dolphin and the uh, whale got done first. The, very, the blues were very distinct and quite easy to, to put together. After that, I tried the reds um, for the carpet at the bottom, but it was a little bit more difficult and I couldn't fit, put in all the pieces. I couldn't fit everything in there. So I put that aside for a while and went into the walls this um, creamy grey brown walls and uh, they actually quite easy I didn't struggle too much with that uh, then it was the right hand corner the blue the sky and, and wall there also I didn't struggle too much it was quite easy to put together then um, yeah the yellow for in the middle of that uh, frame again quite easy I didn't have any trouble with the yellows there. Obviously, I didn't have all the pieces to, to, to fill it up completely. Back to the carpet. I got a few pieces in and then I start the zebra, which wasn't the easiest. Um, also, I think I didn't have all the pieces there. I uh, got all the pieces with animal fur. The leopard, the cheetah the tiger and the giraffe in one bowl. I tried that one next, but except for the giraffe pieces that was quite distinct and easy recognizable, I stuck with the, the big cats. So I put those pieces back and um, you will see during the course of the video, I take that bowl with fur pieces out like three or four times before I eventually got somewhere with them. So yeah, the, the, the big cats were the most difficult part of this puzzle for me. Um, even the greens got in quite easy compared to the big cat fur. So yeah, you can watch the time lapse till the end. I tried to put in everything. Um, this I think three days, two or three days that I did not have the camera for taking a video. But there's progress photos for that few days. Other than that, you will see the, the whole process in this time lap. Every now and again, you will also see my mom pitching in and um, looking for specific pieces. She um, didn't build big pieces at a time, but she liked to go through the pieces in the bowls and on the table looking for a very specific piece. That helped a lot, especially near the end. Um, so yeah, please watch till the end. Um, as as I get closer to the end, the, the video does become more beautiful. It is really a beautiful puzzle. I enjoyed it so much. Um, yeah, like I said, this is my biggest one yet till date. My biggest before this one was uh, 4,000 piece puzzles from um, Coastal Land. I will put uh, links in the description below. Uh, so if you want to watch them, but yeah, this was definitely my biggest and, uh, and I enjoyed it so much. It was a lovely puzzle. The artwork are just beautiful. Um, I will definitely recommend this to anyone that um, wants to attempt a bigger puzzle. I struggled less with this one than with the, the 4,000 pieces. So yeah, definitely worthwhile. 
So that's it for me for today. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse and I'll see you in the next one.